were talking to him when you turned 18, you became like a, you know, into, you know, you became faithful to God and stuff like that. So I, I have, so I have my thinking of it. And so, and I know you had your son pass away too, as well. So how, how do you see that and be like, okay, you know, I'm still going to worship God, even though this like really shitty thing happened, because for example, for me, I would, I worked in an emergency, a kid's emergency room and we, one of the kids, we, I had to do go to a code cause um, it was a cancer, a kid with cancer. And so literally like when I was taking care of, when I was doing chest compressions on the kid, it was the size of my son at the same time. They're almost like the same age. And so like you, all I heard was like the banging of the head of the plastic underneath his, underneath his, underneath the board. And, he, and I, well, I'm sorry, the person didn't make it. So and I completely mm. lost it. And I'm like, how can, how can God do something like this to such a little person? You know, like yeah. what, what's like, you know, how, how are you like faithful to God, even though like that happened to, to you? Like, cause you know, it's, it's really hard for me to, yeah. you know, to see that. Cause I see all these people dying, like not all the time, but like all this like crazy, like bad stuff happening. And it's just like, why would you let this happen? Yeah. Yeah. It's a good question. I think um, if you're going to blame God for bad stuff that happens, you also have to give him praise for the good stuff. And I think people are quick to say, oh, why does God let all this bad stuff happen? Like, why is he let all this bad stuff? Um, but they, they'll never give him praise for the good stuff. That's so, true. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so as a Christian, I think, you know, what I believe is that we live in a broken world. So what that means is that, you know, um, just real quick, like if you go back to, you know, the beginning of the Bible, it talks about mm -hmm. Adam sinning. So sin enters the world and then, things get messy you know so i believe that bad things happen to good people and bad people and good things happen to bad people and good people you know like um, there's a verse in the bible where it says the rain falls on the just and the unjust it's just the way the life this is the way the life is so um yeah i think i mean if, if it'd be so easy to believe in god when if things are perfect like if, yeah true if, yeah if we, if we were controlled by god like if we didn't have free will if he just controlled us and he kept everything perfect you know, um, what's uh, what reward is it loving someone who's actually controlling you to love them? You know, so we've got free will, so we can, you know, we can do whatever we want, and therefore people do bad things, and bad things happen. You know, um, so yeah, so I think you know God doesn't control us. That's I guess that's the main the main way I would answer is that He doesn't control mm -hmm. us, and also um, we do live in a world that's not the way that He intended. So He never intended for death to enter the world. Um, you know, so yes, I mean, it's, believe me, when, when my son passed away, I had, I had it out with God. Like it was a, you know, I had many nights where I would, you know, be yelling and swearing at God um, and had it out with him because I was just like so angry, you know? Um, but I, I just had this understanding somehow. I just had this understanding that this wasn't, he didn't want this to happen. Like it's not, he didn't make this happen. Mm -hmm. um, and I still believe, even though it's a terrible thing, I still, believe that he's real and I still believe that he's got a, a plan for my life and that he's going to he's going to make it right that's the whole story about the bible is you know God promises that he's going to redeem everything and make it right you know in the end of it so I choose to hold on to that hope I guess you know um and people might look at that and go oh that's just you know false hope and it's just weakness but I would rather have hope I would rather hold on to that hope that my son's you know with God in heaven I'm going to see him one day again I'd rather hold on to that hope than not have it so um yeah, so people might think it's just a blind, a blind kind of, you know, hoping to make yourself feel better and get through life. But um, yeah, that, that's my, that's for me, that's very real. Is that, uh, yeah, I do believe he's real regardless of, you know, how bad things are, get, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's a story in the Bible of a guy called Job. And yeah, he's a classic example of everything went wrong. His kids died, his wife left him, he, you know, he got sick and he still said, you know, even though all this happens, I still, I still praise you, God. Like, I still trust that you're real. And, um yeah so that's yeah it's, it's a, i guess i hope that answers some of it it's a tough one to yeah, answer yeah. but um yeah yeah things aren't life isn't fair life's life's broken for sure yeah. yeah i i always i know when you were talking about that i always i was thinking like everyone hones in on the negatives not the positives and so yeah. i'm like okay i gotta look at the positives of like you know other things that i've seen you know i you know maybe this kid with cancer didn't want to live like that anymore. And so that's the reason why, you know, they were, you know, 
went up to heaven or went on. So yeah, who, who knows? Like, you know, but you know, I don't know. It's just, it's just like being in the medical field for like, for so long, you see all this, oh. like, especially in the emergency room, you see all this like crazy stuff, like shootings, stabbings, like killings, like all this, like, you know, people dying of cancer, you know, people coding for no reason and all that stuff. And it's just like, like, I'm not, na- I'm not, yeah, I'm not in that world anymore. Like I've like, I think four or five years past that, but it's just like, you know, it, there's some, there's some people, there's some like episodes or some scenes that I've worked with that will never leave, leave my head ever, ever. Yeah. So yeah. it's just like, For it's sure. hard. So. Yeah. And I think, you know, ultimately, you know, we'd like to try and explain things and I'd like to come up with an answer that makes sense. But the reality is there are some stuff that I will never know that I won't understand. Yeah. And I'll have to just ask God one day, like, what was up with that dude? Like, the, the, I don't get it. Um, and I'm okay with that as well. I'm okay with not knowing it all. Um, but, you know, I heard this great story the other day of, um, this is a little story to kind of explain whether something is good or bad. Like this, uh, this guy uh, bought his son a horse and people were like, oh, what a lucky son, you know, like what a blessing, you know, you got a, he's got a horse. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and the dad's like, oh, we'll see. I don't know. Is the horse a blessing or is it a curse? I don't know. And then the, the son falls off the horse and breaks his back and he's paralyzed, you know? And the guy's like, oh, what a, what a, what a curse, you know? Like your son's in a wheelchair now. He's like, well, is it a blessing or is it a curse, you know? And then, you know, a few years later, all the young men got enrolled, had to go to the, to the war, but he couldn't be enrolled to go to the war because he was in a wheelchair. So they're like, oh, your son is so blessed, doesn't have to go to the war. He's like, well, we'll see. Is it a blessing or is it a curse? So we don't know. Like something, it depends on how you look at it, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. we don't know. Is it, we look at it and go, oh, that's so bad, you know? God, God's not real. How can you let this happen? We're like, well, just wait and see. Let's wait and see how it turns out. You know, like we're kind of like, we're stuck on this page today. You know, like our, I look at our life as like a book or a story and we're stuck on this page right now, right here. It's all we can see is all we control is like this moment. Whereas, you know, God's the author for me. Like he sees the whole book. He can move between the pages and he can go to the end and go to the, the back. And it's, um, yeah, we've got to let the chapters play out. And just, I just trust that the story's going to end well. Um, and that's kind of what faith is for me, you know. So hopefully that kind of helps people understand how I view it anyway a little bit. Um, yeah, no, that helps. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Well, that's that's how I can that's how I can watch my son die and still still love God. You know. <laughs>